Hey there guys, what is happening? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach, which means I help you feel better and perform better. So I have cracked the Kendama code in one day, all right? So what does that mean? Well, what is a Kendama, all right? So Kendama is a Japanese game, okay? There's a ball attached to a string, attached to one of these things, okay? Big cup, smaller cup, one of these, spikes, and another place to place it right here. I just bought this like a day ago, okay? And I've made a TikTok posting my trick shots and skills that I've done. What I can tell you about this is that it's a fun game to play, but it requires intense concentration and you being in the flow state. If you're not in the flow state, you can't possibly get this accurate, especially do tricks with it, okay? So what in the world is a kendama? Ken is a sword, okay? Kind of looks like a hammer, like that a judge would use. Oh, what do you call those? Order in the court, right? That thing. Uh, gavel, I think it's called, right? It looks kind of like a gavel more than a sword. Ken is a sword, and Tama is the ball. So sword ball. So basically this game is primarily requires a lot of focus and it requires a lot of mastery, right? So there needs to be a subtlety with this, okay? Now as you noticed, I've already sort of, you know, chipped away at it in one day. So what does that tell you? It tells you repetition. It tells you there was failure. It tells you there were lots of mistakes happening. But I learned from each one. Every single mistake, I learned from it. I dropped it on the floor once, I went and moved it over to my bed, because my bed is right here, right? So if it lands on my bed, it's a soft fall. Then what did I do? I kept tweaking, I kept refining, I kept adjusting my technique. So I did a really incredible one. If you guys want to see more of these tricks, please go to my TikTok, which is Flow State Kendama, okay? That's at F-L-O-W, Kendama, that's K-E-N-D-A-M-A. All right. How did I master this in one day, right? It's not easy. A lot of people probably fumble with this. But basically, the premise of this is like hand-eye coordination. You know how when we say, oh, we play video games hand-eye coordination? This is a completely different thing, right? Because what it requires is flexibility of the wrist and just the right pacing, okay? The right kind of pacing and the right internal state. If you are not relaxed, you can't pull this off. But if you are completely relaxed, you're like, yeah, I got this. All right, so basically what you want to do is get completely out of your body. Empty the shell, okay? All the things that you've been holding, all the past traumas, all the thoughts of the day, all the different things that you're worried about, whoosh, let it go. You don't need that during Kandama practice. Kandama practice is a way to get into the zone. It's a way to remove the ego and dissolve it down until you are the kendama. You become the kendama, all right? Now this might seem a little very philosophical, but that is one of the concepts of the flow state. Action, awareness, merging, and this feeling of oneness with the task at hand. So expert rock climbers would become the rock that they're climbing, right? So similarly, you become the kendama as you are practicing. The reason I chose this as a flow state tool and a craft is not only does it help to stop the inner mind chatter, and it's incredible for, for a focused, intuitive practice where you can just muster up the courage, muster up the skill set, and keep doing the same thing over and over again until you get really good at it. And bec it becomes more like a dance and a play, because it is a game, it's a fun game. And when you can do tricks with a game, it's not like, I'm trying to do this trick, right? It's like, why isn't it working? Oh no. I tried it many times and it finally does. And it finally does work. And then you're like, oh, interesting. Then you try new things. So you try put, putting the ball into this hole. Look at people's tutorials, but don't envy them. And don't compare yourself to them. Because I saw a few guys, right? They're incredible, right? They're just like, they have this and then they can switch hands and they can do all this kind of stuff, right? You don't need to do that right away. Okay, what you want to focus on is primarily getting just the ball in the cup the first time. Mind you, I got a few of the expert or maybe intermediate trick shots right off the bat. I find it much more enjoyable when it becomes like a dance with the kendama itself. Another thing that I've noticed really helps is playing music. If you have little 
Bluetooth earphones, getting into the zone that way and putting in binaural beats or something like something like this, right? So put this in, distract yourself for the external world and go right into the internal. Feel into it and then go into the practice and play with it. Like I didn't do that the first time, but I found that that was a lot more enjoyable because I could really let myself get in tune with the music and find my own rhythm with it. That might help you out too. And not so much you trying to prove yourself or do these awesome tricks, but it's more about you getting in touch with the nature. Because, hey, this is a wooden thing. It's wood and it's a piece of string. I feel like with this, I am embodying nature. Because this is made out of a tree. It's carved out of a tree, right? So, I feel the... And that's why, I don't know, I wouldn't really go for the plastic or like the metallic kandamas. I love the natural feel of this. There is something very, very zen about this activity. You've got to try it out for yourself, okay? You might look a little bit silly the first few times, like, oh no, I'm not getting it right. It broke my mom's favorite vase or whatever, you know? <laughs> All you need to focus on is the engagement and being in the present moment. And this is a great practice for that. You know what did help? Channeling different things while I was doing this. So I saw a few YouTubers, you know, try it out, do it for themselves. And I was like, if they can do it, why can't I? You know, that's the first mindset switch. So how did I do it one day? How did I rapidly do it, right? You could say, oh, I got lucky or whatever. No, it wasn't luck. It was pure technique. I focused on the technique. So there's certain techniques where you have different uh, grips, right? You have the pencil grip, you have the main grip, and then you also have another type of grip, okay? So there's, there's many different types of grips which you can actually do and focus on, right? You wanna basically make this your own. You don't wanna traditionally follow what, what it's used for, okay? Which is like, sometimes, you know, we have, the, we have this one, I'm saying we like I'm a part of the Kendama community or something. I've just done it for a day, guys. <laughs> anyway, look, I'm not being sponsored by Kendama. You know what I mean? All that's happening is I felt a deep connection to it. The moment I saw this toy, I understood that there was a deep connection to it. Just start and just keep going. It pays off. It will pay off. And if I can do it in one day, imagine what you can do in one month. Let's see. Let's see in one month's time how good I get at this, all right? All right, have an amazing day, guys. May the flow be with you and stay legendary.